Let's pack to go to Charleston. You be a good boy, I'll see you when I get back. Oh my goodness, thank you. He gave me a ton of kisses, so I'm good for the week. Oh, thank you. You be a good boy, don't cause any trouble, okay? was delayed so I ended up missing my connecting flight and so now I'm stuck in Dallas for the night so I booked a hotel so I'm headed to the hotel now I'm just waiting on a shuttle to take me to the hotel fingers crossed that one actually comes because I have no idea what I'm doing I've never had to take a shuttle before so I'm a little bit confused at this point, I'm not going to arrive in Charleston until like 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, which is really frustrating because my sister is going to be arriving in Charleston in like an hour, and I was supposed to be there as well, but I'm stuck here in Texas. The customer service today was horrible. Like everyone was just in a bad mood. Like the people at the front desk of the hotel, unpleasant. American Airlines, their front desk, the lady was so rude. She was so miserable. She was just like, ID like she did not want me to be there and I was just like damn okay I ordered IHOP and I'm so excited hopefully this is the right thing uh, these just look like regular pancakes I ordered special pancakes I'm really bummed because I paid like two three dollars extra for specialty pancakes and I didn't get my specialty pancakes I also put down crispy hash browns these are like raw potato raw potato hash browns this honestly describes how my day is going everything has just been so disappointing today at least the bacon is crispy all right i'm exhausted i will see you guys in the morning good morning it is travel day two to charleston let's get it it is literally freezing out oh my gosh but texas this is cold This is yours. <sighs> you have a hairspray in here that's a little too big. It Would said like? it was only like 3.3 3 ounces, but it's is it? It's dry shampoo, so it's like in a big bottle because it's in the rest of Oh, you're fine. We just go by the label. Pretty good to me. Finally made it to Charleston 24 hours later, and this is our cute little Airbnb. It's like a little attic. That's basically the whole thing right there. You guys have to see the size of this shower where we're staying at. It's massive. It's like a whole nother room. There's like three shower heads. It, you can fit like 20 people in this shower. We're getting ready to go out and explore downtown Charleston. We are going to see how far we can walk. You have to decide which shoes, sneakers or boot. <laughs> We made it to the beach. It's very gloomy out, very gray. I'm not sure if the summer I turned pretty was filmed out here, but this just like reminds me of like, I don't know, the summer I turned pretty, like the beach setting. We're exploring, oh, we're out on Sullivan's Island and we're exploring Fort Moultrie. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but there's some like old cannons there. It's really cool. And it's so pretty and like green out here too. There's like a cannon over there. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is the inside of the fort. This is so like cool. All right, we're on top of the fort. It's actually really big. Overview of the fort. And the beach is right over there. Look at all those cannons. Ready for action. I just took a shower in the really big shower, but it ended up running out of hot water, so it was pretty cold at the end. Skin always breaks out whenever I'm traveling, so I'm gonna do some mighty patches. Today was like our first full day in Charleston and it was really fun. We went out to Sullivan's Island and went to like the beach area, went to this really cool fort, had some yummy food. It was just, it was a really good day. The reason I'm visiting Charleston is because I thought I wanted to move here, 
but I'd never been. So I was like, let's go check it out and see if like it's a place I can see myself living. <laughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Although I do like it here, I think it's beautiful. I love the architect. It is an amazing place. I don't know if it's like the place for me. You know what I mean? Everything about Charleston is so beautiful and like historic. It's just all the buildings here are colorful. Like every street, I'm like, oh, is this Rainbow Road? And it's not. It's just all the buildings are so pretty. Like they're pink and blue and like they're just pretty buildings. The weather is a little hot and humid and I wanted to move somewhere that has like more seasons and Charleston doesn't really get seasons. I used to have curly hair but I over bleached it and so now it's this really weird like in between hair um it's not like curly anymore but it's not like straight I mean it's curly it's just wavy because my curls are still like trying to come back tomorrow's our last day in Charleston and I don't think we have any like real plans yet I think we're just gonna go with the flow and then on Monday we will fly home I'm pretty exhausted from walking all day, so I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Let's get ready for our last full day in Charleston. I think for my outfit today, I'm just gonna do this little shirt and this cute little romper dress. Got these little booties, little bag. So cute, I love it. We are headed to go grab some breakfast now. I think we're gonna go to like a little cafe, get some coffee. Yeah. Ooh, that's a really good gingerbread latte. How did you bite in here? Mine is like horrible design. Oh, I lost the tomato. buildings here are so pretty they're like either blue or pink or purple like it's it's just such a colorful place like i want a pink house or yellow or blue house all right we made it to rainbow road i love this little pink one the pink christmas vibes oh, so cute mm, i'm not a fan of cannolis but like that's better than a cannoli <laughs> This is our last night in Charleston. We go home tomorrow. I'm excited to see my dog. I miss him. I always miss him. After like three days, that's like the mark. By day three of vacation, I'm like, okay. But I could kind of go for like some puppy cuddles right now. You know what I mean? People always wonder where my dog is when I travel. And usually he's with my family. If he's not with my family, he's with a family friend. I do not do boarding kennels. If there's any way to avoid that, I will. I don't like boarding kennels for my dog. They're dirty. He doesn't like other dogs. They're, they stress my dog out. They're just, they're not ideal. I literally have another huge zit forming. I don't know what is wrong with my skin, but it just keeps breaking out and it won't stop. But these ones honestly work so well. This is currently my favorite moisturizer. It is so good and just like simple. Like if you're looking for a simple moisturizer, this is it. Time to pack up and go home. My sister already left for her flight. It was super early this morning. Mine isn't till a little bit later. I think I'm gonna go maybe to a coffee shop. I don't, I don't know. I feel myself coming down with something. I need to like get tea. I'm not quite sure. I rarely wear my glasses, but they're so cute. Like why, why don't I wear these more often? They're so cute. I'm really not looking forward to editing this vlog. For one, it's gonna take me so long. And two, I feel like it's gonna be really boring. Like I'm gonna watch it back and be like, this is so boring. Because this was my first time filming a vlog, a long form vlog, and I've just never done one like this. This Airbnb was honestly so cute to stay in. And oddly enough, neither of us have hit our heads once, which is really impressive because these ceilings are low and I'm really short. Like I'm like 5'3". Deciding what I wanna do, like if I wanna go out and go to a cafe, I have to check out of this like Airbnb or whatever pretty soon, so I don't know. Thank you, kids. 